UFC featherweight division fight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Well, great to be with you tonight, live from Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And when I was here for UFC 113 back in 2010, George St. Pierre wasn't even fighting. <laughs> Loudest pro sports venue I have ever heard in my life. John, they get so excited to watch a fight. Look, man, when you go to Montreal, it's a great city, but it's cold. People are going to the arena not only for the fight, but to escape the snow. And once they get there, they are screaming and going absolutely crazy. This is a great fight. Oh, lands a knee to the head. Taller fighter once again, finding the target with relative ease. Head kick. We're under two minutes now to go round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big power shot there. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing. He's landed with so much force. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Less than a minute to go in the round. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Ooh, what a head kick. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
She has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Clean left punch followed by the right. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Slips the punch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Final seconds here of round two. Got the single collar tie. All right, round three coming up next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, oh as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Nice. And he caught the kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a fire fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice punch there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Massive kick! Didn't see that one coming. Real sneaky body kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Good jab. got to check these low leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. That is, oh man, this dude is good. to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Here we go, fifth and final round. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Beautiful leg kick thrown. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he got him hurt bad. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, less than a minute. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just misses with the straight right. Body could land right under the elbow. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job 
of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world.